They are a part of music history. Run DMC, Jay-Z, Missy Elliott, and the new generation of stars, including Kendrick Lamar. Their success built on the shoulders of legends like Grandmaster Flash. He's one of the earliest pioneers of hip hop and a champion of the Universal Hip Hop Museum being built in the Bronx, New York. We met up with him at a temporary exhibition just across from the site of the Future Museum. We're sitting here, you know, just a few feet away from this, this amazing new museum devoted to a genre that you help create. How does that make you feel? Takes me back 50 years. You know, we get a couple of shopping carts and take the speakers and the crazy records and go to the nearest park and just play, you know, and then to, to get here. It's very humbling. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five were pioneers of this new form of music in the 70s and 80s and became the first hip hop group inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2007. For Flash, it was a dream that started in his childhood home. My biggest sisters was playing anything from disco to funk to pop to rock to Latin. You know, so I was really lucky to grow up with this kaleidoscopic view of, of music. Flash would help develop DJing techniques used around the world. Scratching, looping, sampling, innovations that help make hip hop the most popular genre of music. Hip hop, the music, the movement will soon have a new home. A two level universal hip hop museum being built in the Bronx set to open next year. The 52,000 square foot space with interactive exhibits, a performing space, a radio station, and a restaurant. When people come in here, they feel like they're walking into the evolution of, of hip hop history. Rocky Bucano is the museum's executive director. Why is remembering hip hop, the music and the culture, why is that such an important thing? Well, it's, it's super important because this culture was created by black and brown kids from the projects, from the hood. This culture has saved so many kids' lives by giving them an outlet to become something. The memorabilia throughout the current exhibit is an homage to that struggle and success. Because it's a youth movement, South Africa, South America, no matter where you go, the youth have the same issues. Mm. And this music speaks to them. Music that spoke to young kids 50 years ago, inventing the music they needed to find their voices. Do you ever listen to hip hop now and you think, this is not what I intended? I'm happy. I have to be totally, because the way that I see this here is something that is loved by so many people has to change. It has to, it has to go through its changes and do different things. Okay. It has to. Otherwise, it's stagnant, yeah. and it doesn't grow. But you kind of created it. I didn't say that. You did. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm all, I I enjoyed my time with Flash. Yeah. You know, he did say so, he, something I, I did not realize about hip-hop. So back in the you know, 70s and early 80s, guys like Flash, the guys on the ones and twos, scratching, mixing, doing all that, they were the show. So you would mm -hmm. go to a playground, you'd go to a house party, mm -hmm. and you would go to see Flash. When they started putting the lyricists, mm -hmm. the rappers, on top of the beats, people would go to hear the lyrics. People would go to hear the rapper. Ah. And so the DJs became sort of, they were more of a background act. Background, mm. yeah. And so it, it did early on create yeah. a bit of, bit of, bit of yeah. tension. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, we wow. wouldn't have hip-hop without the likes of Very cool. Yeah. What a great album. There's room for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Uh, by the way, great. that Universal Hip Hop Museum set to open next year. We should also mention the Grandmaster Flash has started putting out these, these video tutorials on social media all about the science oh. of DJ. Oh, that's okay. cool. He's trying to spread his knowledge to the next generation. That's Check it out. That's cool. amazing. Have you ever tried? It, it is. It's impossible. It is. <laughs> and when you he, when he started, course, he would yeah. like, take records from his dad. Oh my! And and scratch him up. Scratch him up. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Didn't go over well. Like research, oh, dad. It's research. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com/allday or click the link right here.